six years ago we decided to go robotic. Yeah, it was a big major major move for me because I've never been into much technology really. Always had a pretty simple simple hearing bone, and um, but decided to give the robotics robotics a go because I could see it was going to be be the future. But just wanted to be able to do it in my lifetime. There was a research farm set up set up just outside of Hamilton to sort of show that it could work under a predominantly partial system, which I got sort of involved with and watched develop and. Um, to where it got to a point where I decided I, I could make it work. It was just this farm was just a bit, going to be a bit of a scale up from the research farm. Yeah, I guess I felt that the Laval system was going to um, um, had more scope to to work better with a partial system that I was looking at, uh, with not too high a feed inputs. And so, yeah, just decided to sort of with the interaction I had with the Delaval staff at the time and the, and their product decided to go with Delavelle. I guess that they appeared to have a better, under, a better understanding of how we needed to, um, around the controls we need to put in, the, the software we needed to control, control the cow flow to get, make a partial system work better. Yeah, I don't, yeah, you certainly need to do a lot of research when you're going to do, into robots just um, because it's not, not simply a matter of just placing them on the farm and expecting them to work. Um, but yeah, it wouldn't take three and a half years now because there's a lot more in New Zealand. I mean, we, we were the fifth farm, I think, and now there's something like 25, I think, mm. in New Zealand. So um, yeah, there's a lot more local knowledge and experience with, with the robots now. Getting your head around it doesn't have to necessarily be with a high input, high production type system. You can, um, can look at a lower input, lower production system. I mean, we don't necessarily milk the cows twice a day. We sort of find that with milking them 1.7, 1.8 times a day seems to be a, a good level for us and that we keep the cow numbers per robot up and get reasonable production that way. Um, yeah, well, the benefits we're seeing with robots is um, being able to treat the cows as individuals um, and keeping them as one, one mob or milk, milking cows as one mob all the time so we can... Um, we can run colostrum cows and antibiotic cows in the main herd all the time. Um, and we can have some cows milking once a day and some cows milking two and a half times a day if we want to, just by altering each individual cow's settings and still being in that, that one, one herd. So yeah, the cows, yeah, always, once they're trained, they're very relaxed. And um, yeah, just, uh, they seem to really appreciate the system. And the same with, same with staff, um, yeah, the working hours are a lot, lot less, it's not the early mornings. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it certainly gives you the flexibility to, to go away. Um, I, yes, I have a manager on the farm, so I'm not really, they'd have to always, always be here, but, um, um, but when he has his time off, I can still go away for the day and don't have to be back at a specific time for milking. And I can, you can check things remotely for, from wherever I am through the, through my laptop or from my, through my phone. Yeah, that, yeah that, the, the, the support and the, the, the service has, has been, been very good. Yeah, and if they can't solve the problem, well then there's a, a technical person somewhere in New Zealand or Australia that they can call 24 hours a day to, to help. Yeah, I have no doubt that the robots would, would work for you. I'm pretty confident, yeah, that, 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 that their system is set up very well that they will, will work and milk the cows. Um, the issues you've got to think about is more your cow trafficking and how you're going to set up your farm to make make the cows move around the farm, what your feeding levels are going to be and production levels. Um, yeah, it, it is important to get that, that feed allocation right and, that, and your farm layout right to make sure that uh, the cows are going to traffic. The biggest change we've probably seen is, is in calf rates. We do seem to have achieved much better in calf rates. And, and generally our cows have been in much better condition since we've gone robotics. And um, yeah, I'm not sure how much that better, better feeding or different feeding or how much that it's um, less stress on the cows, but it's probably a bit of both, because certainly the cows are under a lot less stress.